Welcome to the Bantha Tail End of Space, otherwise known as Tatooine. Hope you enjoy heat, Captain. It's the closest you'll get to landing on a sun, unless you're really unlucky. If it's that hot here, maybe we should peel off a few layers. I sunburn easily, but knock yourself out. We're here because of a crime lord named Diago Hickson, the closest thing Noctrain ever had to a rival. Diago was always trying to one-up Noct. They fought for territory, bragging rights, and the occasional woman. The battles were legendary. Maybe it was Diago who killed Noct. No. He never came close to beating Noct in a fight, fair or otherwise. Diago celebrated Noct's death by raiding one of his storehouses, stole an advanced Gree sensor computer, priceless technology. To find Noctrayan's fortune, we need to pry that sensor computer out of Diago's sticky fingers. That could be trouble. I haven't even gotten to the trouble yet. No one's seen Diago in years. He only communicates through his lieutenants. One of those lieutenants, a Nicto named Two Creek, promised to help. You need to meet him. He must want something in exchange for helping us. Two Creek wants fame. I promised I'd tell everyone he helped find Noctrain's riches. If you run into Diago, watch your back. He makes Skavik look like a Jedi Padawan. What the blazes is a Padawan? Jedi in training, goody-goody students, always on their best behavior. Never mind. Two Greek owns a club in the desert outside Anchorhead. He's expecting you. Good luck, Captain. Ah, Reach's business partner, here at last. Impressive. I'm on that she felt the need to make a show of strength. She must think very highly of me. <laughs> if you smell anything else, let me know. I'm sorry to say this, but you've come at a bad time to do business. Things are... tense. What's wrong? You got problems with the local lawmen? It's much worse than that. Hey, pretty face! You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. I'm only a weary traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend, got it? Leave the girl alone if you know what's good for you. Mind your own business, human trash! You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. Men? Let's show pretty face what we do with people who annoy me. If you want to pick a fight, why not pick me? <laughs> You got a big mouth. I'm gonna enjoy shutting it. Men, kill them both! I wish this hadn't ended in violence, but it was brave of you to intervene. Not the sort of place I expect to meet a Jedi. It's only the second time I've visited an establishment like this. The other time also ended badly. My name is Nariel Prydance. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for Vavarone Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? I've met a lot of agents of evil, but nobody by that name. Zare is a being of vast darkness and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll find the Zare before sundown. That's kind, but I can't place you in harm's way. I sense you're destined for greater things than consorting with common criminals. I must continue my search for Vavarone Zare. May the Force be with you. I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. The infamous Diago Hickson has trouble? Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week they took over our spice warehouse. 
killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. What's a Geonosian? Overgrown insects with heavy weapons and bad attitudes. They're sitting on what we need. Diago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon. Gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago. And you helped kill the men I was sending to get it. You got a brilliant plan, right? The way I see it, this is at least partly your fault. If you want your sensor computer, get me that crate dragon fang. One reptile tooth coming right up. My deceased associate kept the fang at the spice warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. <laughs> Is that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? You got a name? My name is Vavarone Zare. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. I met a Jedi who said you're pure evil. Oh, you mean little Nariel? Oh, poor girl. Think she's my nemesis. Very sad. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Get to the point. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? People don't go to war over empty boxes. The contents are irrelevant. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. And don't deny that you desire me. I'm the closest you'll ever get to perfection. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I'd rather drink a hut's bathwater. How revolting. That was fun, but unnecessary. Now run along and reconsider my offer. Until we meet again. Relax. Everything's gonna be all right. Ah, the great dragon fang. And in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? We had a misunderstanding. The fight ended in a draw. You fought a Sith to a draw. How does that even happen? Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the fang, he'll let us into... Go! Oh! What now? Kukri! The palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! Diago <laughs> will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. and meet me at the light spring. Wait a minute. We can both fit in that escape route. But you need to stop the Imperials from finding it while I get away. Good luck. See you at the light spring. Hello again. 
I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement, so I sent some friends to jog your memory. Call off your attack dogs, lady. Gladly. All you have to do is honor your commitment. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. I'm through with you. Get lost. How can you reject me? Your brain must be diseased or something. I'm afraid I have no choice but to order my soldiers to kill you. There's just no reasoning with some people. I saw the Imperial Commandos. Are you injured? A day late and a credit short, Jedi. This battle's long over. If you survive an assault by the Empire's elite, the Force was with you. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? You following me, Jedi? I heard about this palace back at the club. I came hoping to find Bavarone Zare, but it seems I've just missed her. I don't suppose you'd know anything about my enemy's present whereabouts. Rumor has it she's running things from a shuttle in orbit. Odd. She usually stays close to her prey. I sense I'm running out of time to find Zare. I should go. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope our paths never cross again. May the Force be with you. What have you dragged into my sanctum, too, Greek? Another petty annoyance. Foolish. The captain is here on business, boss. We mean no disrespect. Would have gotten here sooner, but I had to stop and lie to a Jedi. Only fools lie to Jedi. I have no business with you. Perfect. I have you all to myself. Hello again. Despite your absurd refusal to cooperate, you were extremely easy to follow. I suppose I should be grateful. I know I am. The trail led me to you, Zare. Is it just me, or is this cavern starting to feel small? This is all your fault. You embarrassed me in front of the boss. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, haven't heard from you in a while. Everything all right? I've got a Jedi and a Sith fighting over me, but I only have eyes for you. Nothing you say makes any sense. Poor Meryl. She's never been kissed. Such a professional. Who could resist? Oh, beautiful girl. So beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? I want to see her again. Now! Stop pushing me. I'm not your droid. It wasn't a request. You bring her to me, or I take her from you. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine! Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. Stay out of this, and I promise you, you won't be harmed. Stay with me, and I promise much more. I can't have a dead Jedi on my conscience. You won't live long enough to regret this. Come on! I find a beautiful girl myself! Right! Kill everyone! But I didn't do anything! Everyone! Not 
Not many can claim they battled a Sith and lived. You're in rare company. There was a pushover. I've had way tougher fights. I'm sure your experience would have been different had you faced her alone. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the Force we stopped her. This is a Sith holocron. It was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. Is Darth Nihilus guy famous for anything? He exterminated nearly every Jedi a few centuries ago. It took great effort for us to rebuild. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. We've saved countless lives today. Let's do it again sometime. If you were a little more serious-minded, you'd make a fine Jedi. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. Not Drayen. Not Drayen. That's all I hear. What was it like to fight Not Drayen? Uh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this hollow recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Not Drayen was never a true gangster. Not like me. He just pretended. People think I fought him because he was more successful. Because he made me number two. Because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nock was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. He was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure he never came. I'm still alive and he's not. I won. You hear that, Nock? I won! Wasn't sure I'd see you alive again, much less with that sensor computer. How did you get it? Diago Hickson passed away unexpectedly, left me a generous inheritance. He's dead? Good. I mean, for your reputation. Sorry I didn't get a chance to chat with him before he died. My hollow malfunctioned. Really? You had technical difficulties? Happens all the time. The suns here play havoc with comm frequencies. With that sensor computer installed, this freighter will be a first-rate scout vessel. I'll patch it into the ship's Rectenna before takeoff. You should notice a difference right away. What exactly will that gizmo do for us? Let's just say people will have a hard time sneaking up on us in space. Let's leave this sandball in our rear thrusters, Captain. Noctrayan's fortune is out there waiting for us.